Hello friends! Welcome to this super nerdy commentary on The Matrix, a totally Buddhist movie. So I want to start with one really important similarity between The Matrix movies and Buddhism. I want to talk then about one pretty significant difference too. And finally, I want to tell you my story about watching The Matrix in a Buddhist monastery. So the really significant similarity between The Matrix and the teachings of Buddhism is that there is a real world, but it's not the one we're living in. In The Matrix, the real world is the one that Neo wakes up into when he gets like physically unplugged from all these devices that keep him plugged into this like virtual reality world, basically, that most humans are living in in the future in which The Matrix, Matrix is set. So Neo's whole quest really is to wake up out of the Matrix and then ultimately he helps to save the real world from the machines when the machines are trying to destroy all humanity at the end of the third movie. And the whole idea of waking up in the Matrix really is about characters first of all starting to suspect that the reality they're living in is not the full story and then pursuing that suspicion and then finally realizing what is going on and there's like a physical waking up process in which they unplug from like a structure that's keeping everybody asleep. In the Buddhist teachings, this is the real world, but we're the ones who aren't seeing it clearly. To put it in more traditional terms, we've had all these countless lifetimes to really get in the mental habit, you might say, of thinking of a sense of self of assuming that things are going to be tomorrow the way they are today and in five years they're going to look more or less like they are now. So we're just at an unconscious level stuck to these ideas of continuity. That there is a self somewhere in this body and mind, that this self can be made happy if I have certain things and if I can keep certain things away from me. And we just end up responding to the entire world through this extremely limited filter of what I like and what I don't like. So for Buddhism, the real world, there's no physical infrastructure keeping us oppressed, keeping us like asleep. It's us, we do it to ourselves. So the good news is that through practices like mindfulness, through reading teachings, reflecting on spiritual truths, just beginning to question our assumptions about the world, we can all wake up. We don't have to have Morpheus to like come looking for us and unplug us from the matrix. The really significant difference though between the real world and waking up into the real world in the Matrix versus in Buddhism is that in the Matrix, the real world is gray and dull and oppressive and just boring. If you think about the character, I think his name is Cypher, who wakes up out of the Matrix and then wants to go back, that's because food is flavorless in the real world. There's a war that people are fighting against the machines. It's just, it's not a fun place. In the Buddhist version of the real world though, we're waking up where we already are. We're not going somewhere different. In the process of waking up, even if we're at the very beginning of that process of waking up, even if you just started meditating last week and you're, you're starting to notice with a little more clarity what's going on around you, what's going on inside you, this, this Buddhist real world is way more vibrant, way more real, way more joyful, way more peaceful than the not real world that we've been sort of creating through our habitual tendencies of seeing things only in certain ways. So just to recap, The Matrix and Buddhism agree that most of us spend most of our time functionally asleep. When you wake up in The Matrix, you wake up into a gray, dull, boring world. When you make, wake up in Buddhism, you wake up into a splendid, amazing, blissful reality. Finally, I want to share the story of watching The Matrix I don't remember if it was for the first time or not, but it's definitely the time that stuck with me. I watched it on New Year's Eve of 1999 in Wat Pa Nanachat in Northeastern Thailand. And it was one of the rare occasions when everybody, I was staying at this, at this monastery as a lay practitioner, so I was not ordained. 
but everybody on New Year's Eve was invited into, I think, the Abbott's kind of special quarters for entertaining people. We all, all the monks, all the lay people, we all came together and watched The Matrix as 1999 rolled over into 2000. And it was just such an intensely Buddhist setting. Like the reason we were watching it was that everyone at that time, at least everyone who was Buddhist, really noticed the similarities between the Matrix and the Dharma. So I hope this little short video has given you some food for thought as you watch the new Matrix movie. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season of 2021 and a great start to 2022. And I will see you in the new year.